and now they want to put it on our shoulders. And we expect our zoning to be upheld. We should not have to do this. A standing room only crowd of Dry Creek residents in Placer County addressing the West Placer Municipal Advisory Council Wednesday night. And that's why we live here and why we protect it and why we fight so hard for it. Many here speaking out against the possibility of rezoning properties in this area to help the county meet a state issued requirement for more high density housing. And my mom still lives in the same property that I grew up on and she's 93. Residents like Laura Bullard, who has called this area home her entire life. It's not fair to the senior citizens who live in this community to suddenly say, hey, you need to buck up and let us, you know, ha have high density, high rise apartments. Placer County has selected 19 different pieces of land throughout the county that could someday be home to multifamily residences. Four of them are in the Dry Creek area, just outside of Roseville city limits. The areas would need to be rezoned to build apartments. People who live in an apartment don't want to hear um, roosters crowing at 430 in the morning and when they got to get up and go to work. They don't want to hear my my livestock dog barking in the middle of the night warding off coyotes. Resident James Wallace believes building here would be a lose lose for existing and potential new residents. We're going to get nuisance complaints um, and we're going to become the nuisance. And when we've lived my my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my, my wife, they've lived in that house since 1985. A fear for many here is a three-story apartment complex that could tower over everything else. Placer County Planning Director Chris Pahuli says that any potential developer would need to have their vision approved by the county first. Any development that would uh, ultimately be developed would be submitted to the county, would have to meet uh, our development standards and, and uh, would have to meet all, all restrictions. The area of Dry Creek is in Placer County District 1. County Board Supervisor Bonnie Gore saying tonight that she supports the residents here.